Good evening and welcome to your primetimesports.com. We apologize for uh, interrupting uh, the Bonanza episode, but it seems they're going to start early here in Blyville tonight. That's where we are, where we will see the Nettleton Lady Raiders take on the Blyville Lady Chickasaws. I'm Dave Grimm, and I am high atop the Blyville Gymnasium to bring you tonight's contest. Um, Clifton will be here uh, momentarily. He is in town. We know he's here, uh, but he is uh, doing business elsewhere in town, so he'll be joining us a little late tonight. And we're on the air early anyway because uh, I guess they're trying to beat the storms. There are major storms that are moving into our area tonight, and uh, they've decided to start just a little bit early to try and get done ahead of those. I don't know if they're going to be successful. Looking at the latest radar, uh, the storms are headed this way. They're approaching Mountain Home, and they, uh, they're they bearing down on us here in northeastern Arkansas. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that as well as our game tonight. We are the only game in town. The uh, other games that had been postponed to tonight because of snow got postponed again one more night because of these storms. So the Forest City at BB contests and the uh, Batesville at Win matchups will both be played tomorrow night. Um, and of course, Paragould and Tech played their game the night after that snow that caused all of this to begin with. So this is the only game in the 5A East Conference tonight. We've got it right here live on yourprimetimesports.com. And the opening tip is controlled by the Lady Chickasaws, Aisha Humphrey, and she takes it all the way to the right. Couldn't get it. Uh, the putback is good for Kaylin Fowler, and the first two points are on the scoreboard. Now Nettleton basketball. This is our third Nettleton game in a row because of that rescheduling. We didn't plan it this way, but that's the way it ended up. And there's a three-pointer. Good for Allie Tucker. Three to two, Lady Raiders. Traveling violation by the Lady Chicks, and we're going to go back the other way. Yeah, tonight was, uh, well, we had an erroneous game on our schedule to begin with. We had thought that Green County Tech was going to be playing here in Blyville on this night. There's a turnover, and the Lady Chicks have it. We had thought that Green County Tech was going to be playing here on Blyville. We had uh, an outdated schedule. And that's where we got that information. So we had it wrong to begin with. It was actually an open date for everybody in the conference. It was left open deliberately for a makeup night. So we were planning on being on Blyville in this night anyway. It's just that it's Nettleton instead of Green County Tech. And it's stolen away again. Back and forth we have gone here on several turnovers. Humphrey drives in and gets fouled. And she will make the first trip to the free throw line tonight for either team. Always fun to come here to Blindville. We like the folks here a lot. We, uh, I go way back with some of these folks. First free throw, Humphrey bounced it in and we're tied. So I hope you guys weren't into that Bonanza episode that we had to cut into. Uh, I'll try and play that one for you again sometime. She got both free throws, and Blackwell has reclaimed the lead. Now we're going the other way with the basketball. Morgan Peterson, now up top it goes to Lexi Ballou, and her shot is blocked in the paint and plucked out of the sky by Deja Prude. And Prude has it up top. Now she works it inside. And it's going to be stolen away. Stolen by Tucker. Tucker. Inside he goes. And stolen back by Prude. Ahead he goes to Hill. And then it's out of bounds. Last touch by uh, Blindville. Back and forth we go here. No other 5A East games tonight, as I said before. The other two games that were going to be played tonight that were rescheduled from the snow date have been postponed until tomorrow night. 
because of the storms that are moving into the area tonight. In just a few minutes, I'll take another look at the radar to uh, get a progress report on those. That was Kiara Johnson who got fouled, and the foul was on the floor with six minutes and two seconds left here in the first quarter. And that shot is up and in by Lexi Blue on the inbound pass, and the lead goes back to the Lady Raiders. Hill working against Johnson. Hasn't gotten it across yet. Now she does, and she's fouled by Lexi Ballou. And the storms are still right where they were the last time I looked. If this uh, radar is current, just outside of Mountain Home. So if they move at this speed, I'm no meteorologist, but if they move at this speed, it'll still be a good while before they get over here where we're at in Blyville. I'm using the KAIT Channel 8 Doppler weather radar to give you this information. Of course, you can go to KAIT8.com to see what I am seeing. If I could put it on the screen for you, I would, but I do not have that capability. Now back underway, and it's going to be almost a backcourt violation. They saved it. Hill with the basketball. Now a whistle and a traveling violation against Fowler. Nettleton basketball. Whistle and a foul. It's going to be two shots. Coleman, Takara Coleman, will be shooting these free throws. She missed the first one. She got the second one to bounce. And now a two-point Nettleton lead. Nettleton gets that ball and then travels with it. If you wonder why I am quiet at times, I'm doing several different things at once, trying to monitor the weather. I'm looking at uh, things people are sending to me while I am broadcasting. It's a, it's a busy night, even though this is the only game. Because of the weather, it's a busy night. So, it's Blindville basketball with five minutes, five seconds, and another traveling violation. We've seen a bunch of those already. And another steal. The beauty of uh, doing TV now instead of radio, like I've done most of my career, is that you can see what's going on. I don't have to be talking every second. There's another steal. And there's Tucker, dumps it down low, count the bucket, and the foul. Rolford gets the bucket, draws the foul, and she'll go the line for the and one with 437 remaining in the first quarter. There it is, 9-4, Blyville. I'm sorry, 9-4, Nettleton. Out of bounds. Inbound pass, waiting on it from Prude, and she, we're gonna have a whistle and a foul going the other way. In there to steal it was Peterson, and she was fouled by Humphrey. And there's a lot of fouls on the board already, folks. Four fouls against Bible, three against Nettleton, with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Johnson, Peterson. Three-pointer won't go. 
Rebound comes off to Lakeisha Robinson. We're going the other way. Hill back up top to Prude. Now Hill. Hill spins into the paint and kicks it back out. That's Jabruna Brimlett. And now driving in with it, the shot is good for Robinson. And it's nine to six. Nettleton basketball, Wolford inside, Tucker. 11-6. Three and a half minutes left here in the opening quarter. Now it's gonna be loose and stolen by Rolford. Rolford picks it, goes the length of the floor and from the paint she puts it up and in. Nice coast to coast there for Rolford after the steal. It's 13 to six. Robinson throws it inside to another Robinson. There's two Robinsons out there on the floor right now. We've got a whistle, a jump ball on the rebound, tied it up. Arrow pointing at Nettleton. So the two Robinsons on the floor, number 20, Andrea Robinson, and number 24, Lakeisha Robinson. Both on the floor at the same time. And you know, I just love when that happens. <laughs> Nettleton with the basketball. Tucker drives in. Tucker left-handed. Good. And now a nine-point Nettleton lead here early. Ahead he goes. We're going to have a traveling violation again on Bible. They've had four travels at least already in this game in the first quarter. 2.36 remain in the first. Now we got a whistle, and a timeout is going to be called by the Blyville Chicken Sons. It's a full timeout. We'll take it too. Back in one minute. You get big time savings and hometown service. Always a bit Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. At Bear, there's a difference you will clearly see. You're always a VIP. Saving service, great selection. Retirement? It's never looked so good. Welcome to Chateau on the Ridge Assisted Living in Paragould, Arkansas. Say hello to fine dining and down home living, where around the clock security and peace of mind are always at your fingertips. And front row seats to the best shows, they're included. We call it Chateau on the Ridge. You can call it home. Call or visit today to get the whole scoop. Timeout coming to an end here with 2.36 remaining in the first quarter. It is an, a nine-point lead for the Nettleton Lady Raiders, 15-6. to six. <clears throat> And it's Nettleton basketball as we come out of the break. Rolford gets the inbound pass. And Rolford dribbles into traffic. It goes out of bounds off of a white jersey. So... Uh, the teams, the other five East teams that are not playing tonight, which would be all the rest of them, as we see that whistle and foul on the shot there, and Coleman going to the line. Those other six schools, <laughs> we've heard from some of them today, they're watching tonight. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You don't get this opportunity often because you're usually playing the same time we're broadcasting. And the first free throw, no good. So the players and coaches and fans of those other teams are watching our broadcast tonight with interest. And we've got an out of bounds and it's gonna be last touched by Nettleton. Two twenty-one remaining in the first. They get it inside. Shot up. Hill can't get it to go. Rolford with the rebound. It looked like she traveled. They're going to call a foul. And that 
is team foul number six already against Blyville. Wow. The remainder of this half, all 10 minutes and 15 seconds of it, Nettleton is going to be in the bonus. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Those of you that are watching that are new to the broadcast because you are normally playing a ball game, we uh, want to let you know about our Twitter feed. Follow us on Twitter, Your PT Sports. Y-O-U-R-P-T Sports. And we appreciate it. Lob inside, just batted out of bounds. It'll still be Blyville basketball. We're also on Facebook too. Just search for Your Primetime Sports on Facebook. We post scores and standings and all sorts of goodies. Photographs. Had some real good photos last night of the car that drove through the Marmaduke gym. Marmaduke, one of the non 5A East teams that we cover. That shot wouldn't go in the paint. This one does. Oh, no, it does not. It bounces. It was in and out. No good. And coming down with a rebound was Coleman. Going the other way with it. Tucker for three. That's short. Coleman with a rebound. Now Rolford. Tucker drives from the paint. Couldn't get it. Rebound Fowler. Here's Prude. Bounce inside. Out of bounds. 70 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Awfully, awfully warm outside. Unseasonably warm for January. Got up to 70 some odd degrees today as it did yesterday. And that's why we're in the shape we're in. That unstable air and these storms coming in. Recipe for trouble. We're going to stay on top of it. Inside, Rolford off the glass and in. And now double-digit lead for Nettleton, under a minute to play in the first. Poked out of bounds. Oh, it's off the leg of Hill. And it'll be Nettleton basketball with 51 seconds left in the first. Rolford, 45 seconds. Rolford dribbles in, puts it off the glass. It won't go. The putback won't go. Now Rolford tries again. That one's not going to go. Finally, Blyville comes down with a rebound. That's one of the Robinsons who came away with the rebound. And ahead it goes. That shot won't go in for Guyton. And Nettleton comes down with it. 25 seconds left. Out of bounds. Nettleton ball. 22 seconds on the clock here in the first. Tucker gets it in to Kimbrough. Maya Kimbrough, first time we've called out her name, and she drives in and puts it off the glass and in. Down to the last 10 seconds of the first. Hill has it taken away from her by Kiana Johnson. Shot at half court from, well, that's not gonna go. And that's the end of the first quarter. A big 19-6 lead for the Nettleton Lady Raiders. Back in one minute on your primetimesports.com. Do you need insurance? If the answer is yes, let Chris Robinson and his staff at Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency handle your needs. Whether it's auto, life, business, or planning for your retirement, Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency is ready to serve you and your family. Come by Chris Robinson Insurance Agency, 1211 West Court Street in Paragould. At First National Bank, you have convenience right at your fingertips. And instant buying power. It's so easy. And when you're on the go, well, you know what to do. We understand the importance of now. First National Bank, the working bank for working people. And quarter number 
two about to get underway. Bible will start things off. Down by 13 to the Nettleton Lady Raiders. Humphrey. Humphrey travel with it. No, they're going to call a foul. Team foul number four. Called against the Lady Raiders. They'll inbound it right here in front of the Nettleton bench. This is Humphrey doing the honors. She hadn't found anybody yet. Now she finally does. It is Guyton. Now Humphrey. In traffic from the paint. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. And the rebound comes off to Nicole Duty. Duty is, was that a timeout call? Apparently so. <clears throat> it's a 30-second timeout. And we'll keep it here while we have the timeout. Tell you a couple of things. First off, we'll tell you we're going to be in Batesville Friday. The Paragool Lady Rams and Rams traveling to see the Lady Pioneers and Pioneers respectively. And also, let's have a look at the radar real quick and uh, see if there is any change. Boy, that thing is just moving really, really slow. It has very, it moved very little since the last time I told you. It is still just outside of Mountain Home, the, the line of storms. So maybe it won't get here before we get out of here tonight, as slow as it's moving. I hope I'm looking at updated information. Meanwhile, we got a whistle and a foul here. Looks like I am. This is an updated radar. And Kimbrough at the line for the Lady Raiders. She was shooting on this foul, so here's the first one, and it is good. One more to go, and it's good. Middleton Lady Raiders hit the blackjack number, 21. They lead it 21 to six. Trying to battle for position down there is Fowler. Kicks it back up to Humphrey. Free throw line jumper. Won't go. Now Fowler with it. She's going to go back up. And got the roll. Seven minutes left in the half. 21-8 the score now. Nettleton with a big lead. Kimbrough to duty. Out of bounds, it will still be white jersey basketball. Lexi Blue checking back into the ball game. As is Deja Prude. Peterson looks for somebody to throw it into. It is finally, wow, Kimbrough is nailed there at the half court stripe. They're going to get a foul charge to Blyville. It's team foul number eight. We're going to see a one and one with 6.48 remaining here in the first half. We will take a break at halftime. If you're not familiar with our broadcast, if you're seeing it for the first time tonight, we just flat out stop broadcasting at halftime. We take ourselves a little break. That first free throw, no good. And foul committed by Nettleton on the rebound. So we'll put the camera down on the floor. If there's any cheerleader activity or anything else going on, you'll get to see it while we take a break. Hill with the basketball being guarded closely by Kimbrough. They work it inside. Prude spins, puts it up and in. And Blindley breaks into double digits. 21-10. Almost a backcourt violation right there. Coleman from inside the free throw line. Too strong. Rebounded by Humphrey. Going the other way fast. Humphrey, length to the floor. Got the bucket and draws the foul. So that gives us a palindrome on the scoreboard just for the moment. 12-21, same way frontwards or backwards. And the 
extra free throw here for Humphrey. She's going to try and bust up my palindrome. Oh, and she couldn't do it, and it's rebounded by Nettleton. Pulled down by Tabitha House. There's a name we don't get to call out often enough for Nettleton, bench player. Whistle and a foul on the other end. Two shots pending for Cleora Wolford. Six oh three remaining here in the first half. First free throw, no good for Rolford. Duty checks out of the ball game, and so does Prude. Rolford missed both free throws. Rebound, Nettleton. Wow, offensive rebound, House. She gives to Tucker. Tucker drives in off the glass in the end. Nice play there. And my palindrome has gone. It's 23 to 12 now. Now over the head and out of bounds. Tucker drives in. Her shot is deflected. Blyville comes away with it. It's Blyville basketball right now. Fowler, now Hill. Now stolen. Peterson with it. Nettleton basketball. In the paint, won't go for Coleman. And again, Fowler with another rebound for Blyville. Inside, Coleman picks it off. Coleman, if she could slam dunk it, she would. Off the glass and in on the fast break. Timeout, full timeout is going to be called by Blyville. We'll take it too. Back in one minute on your primetimesports.com. You get big time savings and hometown service. Always a bit Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. And there, there's a difference you will clearly see. You're always a VIP. Saving service, great selection to you. Retirement? It's never looked so good. Welcome to Chateau on the Ridge Assisted Living in Paragould, Arkansas. Say hello to fine dining and down-home living, where around-the-clock security and peace of mind are always at your fingertips. And front row seats to the best shows? They're included. We call it Chateau on the Ridge. You can call it home. Call or visit today to get the whole scoop. First half of play of the girls game. It's Blyville basketball, they're trailing big, 25 to 12. The full court press is on from the Nettleton Lady Raiders. They get it across the timeline and she travels with it. Lots of walks called against the Blyville Lady Chicksaws tonight. Rolford. Tucker for three. She got it. Man, oh, man. Been all Middleton here early. There's a nice put in. Fowler. Middleton doubling up Blyville here so far, 28 to 14. Rolford driving in traffic. She draws the foul. So now Rolford at the line. Defense! 
waiting on people to get in the right spots here. 3.55 on the clock here in the second quarter. In and out, no good on the free throw. Rolford having a tough time from the free throw line tonight. She finally got one. That's good. So she is, I believe, one out of four from the free throw line tonight. 29-14 Nettleton. That one's batted out of bounds. It'll still be rival basketball. So, again, we're going to take a, a halftime break, folks, for those of you that are new to the broadcast. We'll be back with the second half after that break. Driving in. She got grabbed on the way in there. Looked like by Allie Tucker. That's exactly who they say committed the crime. And it's one and one. That was team foul number seven against the Lady Raiders. And Lakeisha Robinson will shoot a free throw here. And apparently she was shooting. Okay. She was shooting on that foul, so she's going to shoot more than one free throw. 3.37 left in the half. She got the second one. Rolford driving. Got it. That one rolled in. And then a turnover, unforced. It'll be Nettleton basketball. Peterson, now Coleman. Coleman dribbles out of traffic into the lane, blocked out of bounds. Three oh nine up there on the clock here in the first half. Tucker looking for somebody open. And there's Coleman, and she is fouled. Takara Coleman at the free throw line, shooting a couple. They're going to shoot two the rest of the way. They have surpassed the, uh, Blyville has surpassed the 10 foul limit. <clears throat> She missed the first one, the second one coming up now. And missed that one too, and it's rebounded by Andrea Robinson. Are we back to two Robinsons on the floor at the same time? Actually, no, we're not. Andrea is the only one out there at this time. That's Tiana Howard. And we've got a turnover. Lady Raider basketball, 253 now in this <clears throat> never ending first half with all these fouls. Rolford, Tucker in the corner. Peterson for three. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Robinson with the rebound. Ahead it goes to Hill. She traveled with it as soon as she grabbed it. Well, I'll tell you what, they could they could walk a 5K out here tonight. <laughs> so many walks by the Blyville Lady Chickasaws. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Tucker, Kimbrough. Kimbrough in the paint. Dumps it down low. Johnson underneath can't get it. Johnson comes down with it. Jump ball, they say. And the arrow pointing at Nettleton. Inbounds. Now Tucker for three. Got it from the corner. A 19-point Nettleton lead here in the first half. Across the timeline to Guyton. <clears throat> and another travel on Blyville. 
That's got to be a, eight travels on Blyville, something like that. My goodness. It's a walkathon. Two minutes to play in the half. In the paint. Kimbrough can't get it to go. Now, Blyvel. Out of bounds. Nettleton basketball. Peterson. Off her own foot, got it back. Kimbrough. Tucker, she got out of trouble. Tucker in the paint, won't go. Rebound, oh, foul on the rebound. It is gonna be called against Nettleton. And so we're gonna go to the other end and shoot a one and one. One sixteen on the clock here in the first half. Fowler. One and one. Rainbow free throw goes in. Unique. Free throw there for Kalen Fowler. That one not as much arch on it, and it did not go in. But that first one, <laughs> that was a rainbow. The rebound comes off to Nettleton. And quickly to the other end of the floor are the Lady Raiders. And now Tucker is fouled. We'll see more. Free throws, two of them. 64 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Tucker will try to give the Lady Raiders a 20-point lead. Ooh, missed the first one. Got the second one back to a 19 point lead for the Lady Raiders. Long pass ahead to Robinson. Now Hill. And apparently there is a foul call. And I guess it was against Nettleton. We're going to see a one and one here. 52 seconds left in the half. Fowler at the line again for the one and one. They're going to call the lane violation. She went across and got back before the shot, but I don't even think you can do that. She jumped in and jumped out. It's like uh, offsides in football where you jump across and jump back. They let you do that in football. Apparently, they won't let you do that here at the free throw line. And it didn't matter. She missed it both times. And it is going to be rebounded by Nettleton. Kimbrough pulled it down, brought it to the other end of the floor. Now, Rowford down low, and she draws the foul with 42 seconds left in the half. This endless... First half. So now Rolford, who is one out of four from the free throw line tonight. Got one. And she makes it a 20-point lead. That is 11 points now for Rolford on the night. Second only to Allie Tucker, who has 16. She missed the second one, and it's going to be a foul on the rebound. Okay, refs, put the whistles up. 
40 seconds left in the first half. And again, it's Fowler. Three trips in a row to the line for her. And she is one out of, call it three, because that first one a while ago on the one and one did not count. So she's one out of three from the free throw line. And that one she got. Forty seconds up there on the clock here in this incredibly long first half. And missed the second one. And rebound's going to be loose ball still. Fowler ends up with it in the corner. No, a jump ball. And the arrow pointing at Blyville. 35 seconds left in the half. That's a good thing they started this game early. <laughs> Inbounds, Coleman steals it. Ahead it goes, House puts it off the glass and in. That's actually Kiana Johnson, I'm sorry. Johnson made the layup on the fast break and it's now 38-17. 20 seconds left in the half. In trouble, Hill gets out of trouble. Now there's a, they're not gonna call a foul on that. <laughs> that was a foul, but they didn't call it. And it's out of bounds, it'll be Nettleton basketball with 11 seconds left to play in the half. I think the referees are just as anxious to get over with this half as everybody else in the gym. Coleman for five seconds left in the paint, kicks it out. Rolford, that one's blocked. No time left. Halftime score. 38 to 17. And this is where we take our break. We will Step away. The cheerleaders are going to make their way out to the uh, the uh, floor, and we'll give you that show. And we'll be back at the end of halftime on yourprimetimesports.com.
Retirement? It's never looked so good. Welcome to Chateau on the Ridge Assisted Living in Paragould, Arkansas. Say hello to fine dining and down home living, where around the clock security and peace of mind are always at your fingertips. And front row seats to the best shows, they're included. We call it Chateau on the Ridge. You can call it home. Call or visit today to get the whole scoop. Do you need insurance? If the answer is yes, let Chris Robinson and his staff at Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency handle your needs. Whether it's auto, life, business, or planning for your retirement, Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency is ready to serve you and your family. Come by Chris Robinson Insurance Agency, 1211 West Court Street in Paragould. All right, the second half, which is about to get underway, will hopefully go quicker than the first half did. <laughs> The storm, very slow moving, is now over Mountain Home. It's just moving awfully, awfully slow, that line of storms. Still a good ways away from Mississippi County. We're back underway here. Ballou inside. Rebounded by Humphrey. And Humphrey goes the length of the floor. Nice job by Aisha Humphrey to make it a 19-point ball game here as we start the second half. And a whistle, and we pick right back up where we left off. Foul called. <laughs> Lots of fouls called tonight. On the floor, team foul number one. Inbound pass from Rolford, looking for somebody open, finds Tucker. Tucker, bounce into Blue. Now Rolford, low, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Andrea Robinson. Ahead it goes to Humphrey. Fowler in the corner. Pass to, well, it was supposed to be <laughs> Hill, but it went over her head. Now eventually, Peterson does come away with it. And goes down and misses the layup. Going the other way with it is Brimlett. Dumps it down low. Robinson got it. Rolford trying to calm things down for the Lady Raiders. They have yet to score here in the second half. Tucker for three. Got it. Back to a 20-point deficit. That one's down low to Robinson, and she got the layup. Peterson tried to save it in. She could not. It's Blyville basketball. This is Hill. Hill looking for somebody open inside. There just ain't anybody. And now driving in, Fowler misses the bucket, and it is rebounded by Johnson. We've got a traveling violation. We'll go right back to Blyville. Normally, during the course of the game, I give you scores from around the league as we get them in. We do have people all over the league as that bucket goes in for Fowler, and a timeout will be called. We've got folks all over the league that give us scores on this 30-second timeout, and we pass those scores along to you during the course of the night. Well, there are no other league games going on tonight. This is the only one because... Two of the three games tonight were postponed until tomorrow night because of the impending severe weather. 
those two games that will be played tomorrow night. <clears throat> uh, Batesville at win and a showdown between Forest City and BB. So tomorrow night, you can watch for those scores on our Facebook and Twitter feeds. Five and a half minutes left to go here in the third. It's Nettleton basketball. Tucker has it up top. Bible stepping up their defense now. Playing a little bit more vigorously. Now Tucker for three, and it's not going to go. Rebound comes off to Prude. Prude goes the length of the floor. Prude in traffic, out of bounds. It's blocked partially, and it will be Nettleton basketball. Prude can't find anybody. She got called for five seconds, Nettleton basketball. Tucker. Peterson, Rolford. Lost it on the fast break. Humphrey off the glass and in. Blyvel trying to keep this interesting has closed the gap to 14 points. Nettleton led by as many as 21. Duty, Peterson, now Rolford. Rolford drives. Missed the layup. Put back. No, that won't go either. And now it's rebounded by Prude. Long pass is going to be picked off. Tucker ended up with it after Peterson deflected the pass. Tucker for three. Off the mark. And Hill is fouled on the rebound by Rolford. That was number one against number one there. It was one on one. Literally. 351 left to play in the third quarter. Inbound to Prude, now Hill. Hill looking inside, nobody there. Now down low, Robinson, not even close. Rebounded by Johnson, ahead to Tucker. Tucker on the fast break, got it. And Tucker has scored all the points for Nettleton here in the second half thus far. And she's sitting with 21 points on the night. Five of those have come since we got back underway in the second half. That one is saved in bounds on the rebound by Johnson. Now Rolford has it. She drives. That one's blocked. Duty comes down with it. Now Tucker for three. In and out, no good. Out of bounds. Humphrey slow getting up on that last play. I don't know who the ball was out of bounds off of. They're going to say it's Blyville basketball. And Humphrey will probably come out. Lots of players uh, subbing in right now. Three black jerseys and a white jersey. Three oh one up there on the clock here in the third. Hill lobs it inside. Prude battles, puts it up, won't go. Got her own rebound. No, that's actually Robinson who went back up with it and draws a foul. She's going to get to shoot two free throws here. First free throws of the second half. Team foul number two against Nettleton here in the second half. There are a lot less fouls at this point in the second half than there were at this point in the first half. A lot less. The first free throw was no good. And now we're going to examine her knee brace for whatever reason. May have something sticking out of it. 
They look it over. They deem it okay. And we get back underway. Andrea Robinson, free throw. She got the second one. Coleman back in the game, catches that pass and loses it, and Hill comes up with it. Prude. Fowler. Turn around, no good. Offensive board, that one won't go. Duty comes away with the rebound and clears it to Tucker. Kimbrough. Coleman. Tucker for three, got it! She has scored every point in the second half. Eight of them. Two minutes left in the third. And she is now leading the way with 24 points. Waiting on that inbound, finally, they get it in to Guyton, and she puts it up and in. Kimbrough drives, and she will draw a foul and shoot a couple. Kimbrough scores the first point of the second half by someone not named Tucker. They haven't put that free throw on the board yet. The second one was missed. We've got the correct score here on our scoreboard, but they don't have it here. And underneath, that shot goes up and in. And timeout is going to be called by Nettleton. They fixed the scoreboard here as well. 47-32 the score with a minute and a half left in the third quarter. It's a full timeout. We'll take it too. Back in one minute. Do you need insurance? If the answer is yes, let Chris Robinson and his staff at Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency handle your needs. Whether it's auto, life, business, or planning for your retirement. Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency is ready to serve you and your family. Come by Chris Robinson Insurance Agency, 1211 West Court Street in Paragould. Make the switch now to no fee banking. First National Bank provides me with totally free checking and as a business owner that helps keep my customers satisfied. At First National, there are no fees and no hassles. Express yourself by choosing a debit card that fits your personality. I switched my bank to First National because of no monthly debit card fees. Are you ready to switch? First National Bank, the working bank for working people. Member FDIC. Let us show you how easy switching can be. All right, back underway here. After the timeout, we've got uh, 90 seconds left to play here in the third. 15-point lead for Nettleton. They've got the basketball. Here's Kimbrough. Block, big block by Humphrey, and she came away with it. And Humphrey goes to the other end and missed the layup. Tucker with the rebound. Now we're going back the other way. Coleman with the basketball. Ballou from the low post. Won't go. Offensive board. They clear it back out. Tucker for three. Got it again. Man, oh, man. 11 points in the second half alone for Allie Tucker. Turnover. It's Nettleton basketball. She's got 27 points. She has scored 11 of the 12 points that the Lady Raiders have scored here in the third quarter. Man. Man. It's the Alley Tucker show here. Down low, Johnson is fouled. 32 seconds. 
left on the clock here in the third. Kiara Johnson can make the lead 20 points again with both these free throws. Missed the first one. Boy, Nettleton not done well from the free throw line tonight. Imagine what this lead would be had they made those free throws. They missed a bunch. She missed those both, man. And coming down with the rebound was Fowler. Hill, jumper, good. 20 seconds left in the third. Kimbrough in the paint, got it. And Kimbrough has the other three points that were scored here in the third quarter. That foul, that shot won't go at the buzzer. We go into the fourth quarter with Nettleton leading by 18. We'll be back in one minute. Yeah, big time savings and hometown service. Always a bit Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. At Bear, there's a difference you will clearly see. You're always a VIP. Saving service, great selection to you. Bear does it all for you. Retirement? It's never looked so good. Welcome to Chateau on the Ridge Assisted Living in Paragould, Arkansas. Say hello to fine dining and down-home living, where around-the-clock security and peace of mind are always at your fingertips. And front row seats to the best shows, they're included. We call it Chateau on the Ridge. You can call it home. Call or visit today to get the whole scoop. All right, one more quarter to go here in the girls' game. Still got another whole game after this one. The boys' matchup will be next. We're underway here. Blyville lost the ball out of bounds just to start things off. The clock, they didn't stop the clock for that entire exchange. I don't know why. It's only an 18-point lead. We're not in the mercy rule. Kimbrough for three. Nope. Tracked down in the corner by Guyton. Ahead it goes. Hill draws the foul and got the bucket. So Blyville still hanging around trying to keep this thing interesting. They are now down by 16. Chance to make it 15 here for Trasha Hill. No oh, in and out, no good. Blue with the rebound. Rolford. Now in the corner he goes to Coleman. Stolen away, going the other way. Hill with it on the fast break. She doesn't get it, and Rolford comes down with a rebound. In the corner, out of bounds, Blyvel basketball. Now that one won't go for Prude. Offensive putback goes in for Humphrey. Now it is a 14 point game. That's as close as they have gotten here in the second half. Milton led by as much as 21 in the first half. Ballou is fouled on the floor. That'll be team foul number four here in the second half. A lot less fouls here in the second half. 6-19 remaining in the ball game. Kimbrough will inbound it. No, they swap up. Now it's going to be Haw uh, he uh, Who is that? That's Tucker. 
Lob to Ballou in traffic. Kicks it back out. Now three-pointer, Kimbrough. Not good. Rebound, Prude. Long pass is over the head of Hill and out of bounds. Nettleton basketball. That three-pointer is not going to go for Rolford. Ballou battles in there to get it. Now it's going to be a foul on Ballou as Prude took it away. Well, I'm not sure who they called the foul on on that one. Maybe it was Peterson. Sure was. But Prude battled in there to grab that one away from Lexi Ballou. Guyton is fouled on the floor. Still a 14-point deficit. Five and a half left in the ball game. Prude trying to find somebody. Finds Fowler. Now back to Prude who puts it off the glass and in. Now it's a 12-point game and that is as close as Blyville has been since the first half, maybe since the first quarter. Out of bounds, still Nettleton basketball. Inbound to Tucker, Ballou, Kimbrough. Rolford inside and batted away and mishandled actually. And Humphrey was there to get it and went the length of the floor and missed the bucket. Now Kimbrough going the other way. Kimbrough goes the length of the floor and she missed the bucket. Jump ball on the rebound. Two different players coming down with it. The arrow pointing at Nettleton. Lady Raider basketball, 4.52 left to play in the ball game. Inbound inside, Rolford, her shot was blocked and Prude came away with it. Ahead to Humphrey. Humphrey is fouled and she'll go the line. Blyville trying to climb back in this thing. Coach Smith from Nettleton, not real pleased about that. Led by 21 late in the second quarter. Led by 18 at the end of the third. Now only leading by 12. Humphrey can cut it to 10. Missed the first free throw. Both teams struggling from the line tonight, really. I talked about Nettleton's free throw woes, but really it has been both teams. Four forty-three left in this ball game. And that one goes in. It's an eleven point game. Blyville inching its way back in to contention here. Midway through the fourth quarter. Now, Nettleton, all they really need to do is just eat clock with an 11-point lead. That's not what they're doing. They're attacking the basket. Rolford draws a foul. So here's Cleora Rolford at the free throw line. She's going to get to shoot two for 22 remaining in the ball game. And that, I believe, was five, was it five fouls on Humphrey? Sure enough. Wow, what a loss for Libel as they try to climb back into this ball game. Aisha Humphrey is done for the night with 422 left to play. The free throw was good, back to a 12-point game. Here's another free throw. 
And that one is good. Relford has found her stroke here in the second half. She struggled from the line in the first half. But Blyville, who was mounting a comeback here, has lost one of the keys to that comeback. Humphrey is done. Prude to Hill. Hill in traffic, puts it up, got it. Back to an 11 point deficit. Tucker, who owned the third quarter, kicks it inside. Ballou from the low post is fouled. Three thirty-nine left in the ball game. Ballou's going to shoot two. That was uh, team foul number six. First free throw good. Both teams now with six team fouls in the second half. So we're going to see free throws the rest of the way for both teams. Both free throws good for Ballou, the best free throw shooter on the team. And the lead back to 13. Hill runs into Ballou. And they get Ballou for the foul. Ballou was moving when she bumped her. Team foul number seven. I told you, free throws the rest of the way. I wasn't lying to you. Here's Hill. One and one. Missed it. Ballou with a rebound. Batted and out of bounds, and it'll be Nettleton, I'm sorry, Blyville basketball as Rolford had a hand on it and lost it out of bounds. Now here come the Lady Chicks, down by 13. Hill, and they need to develop a sense of urgency here as we hit the three-minute mark. Down by 13 points. They're, they don't seem like they're in that big of a hurry, and they need to be. Now Prude for three. Banks the thing in. Oh, my gosh. She banked that thing in and makes it a 10-point ball game. She did not call backboard, Mikey. She did not. <laughs> Now Tucker in traffic, dumps to Ballou, kicks it back out. Kimbro for three, it's well off the mark. Rebounded by Prude. Blyville very much in this thing all of a sudden. Long pass to Hill, missed the shot. Loose ball, Fowler comes up with it. Jump shot won't go. Who's got it? Out of bounds, Blyville basketball. All of a sudden this, is, this, was, this was a runaway for Nettleton. And all of a sudden, it's a 10-point game with 2.18 left to play. Three-pointer, Prude, almost banked it in again. Away and coming down with a rebound is Tucker. Kimbrough with it on the run. Coleman. Tucker, two minutes to play. Tucker's shot is blocked out of bounds. Wow. Nettleton, with the exception of Tucker, Nettleton has just not come out to play here in the second half. Ballou in the paint, puts it up and in and draws a foul. A bright spot here in the second half for Nettleton. I just jumped the gun here. It should be 58. Let me fix that scoreboard for you. There you go. The free throw pending for Ballou. In and out, no good. And the rebound comes off to Prude. It's a 12-point game. Fowler. Timeout called by Blyville. 139 left to play. It's a full timeout, and we're going to take it, too. Back in one minute on your primetime sports. Do you need insurance? 
If the answer is yes, let Chris Robinson and his staff at Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency handle your needs, whether it's auto, life, business, or planning for your retirement. Chris Robinson's Insurance Agency is ready to serve you and your family. Come by Chris Robinson Insurance Agency, 1211 West Court Street in Paragould. Make the switch now to no fee banking. First National Bank provides me with totally free checking and as a business owner that helps keep my customers satisfied. At First National, there are no fees and no hassles. Express yourself by choosing a debit card that fits your personality. I switched my bank to First National because of no monthly debit card fees. Are you ready to switch? First National Bank, the working bank for working people. Member FDIC. Let us show you how easy switching can be. One thirty-nine left in the ball game. That's 99 seconds if you're counting at home. Left in the contest. And Prude will inbound it. And that shot banked in again. My gosh. What a shot. Forgotten. It's a 10-point game again with 90 seconds left to play. Ballou. And again, they're still attacking the basket, and I don't know why. Why is Nettleton not killing the clock with a 10-point lead? They draw a foul, and Ballou is going to shoot two. But I don't understand the game plan for the Lady Raiders by continuing to play aggressive when they've got this big cushion and only 121 left to play. They could just kill this clock and get out of here with the win. Well, she makes both free throws to lead back to a dozen. Now here comes Hill on the run. Hill, travel with the basketball. Rolford rode her all the way over to the sideline and more or less forced that one. 70 seconds left in this ball game. Waiting on the inbound pass. They're going to swap up. Tucker's going to go out there to throw it in. And she finally does. And Johnson has it. Nettleton basketball as we approach the one-minute mark. She went the length of the floor and put it in. Blindville fell asleep. Well, the Lady of Chickasaws fell all the way asleep on that one. Down to a minute. And stolen away. Kimbrough. Rolford goes up. Missed it. Got it again. Missed it again. And a foul on the rebound. Hill has it. She's going to shoot the free throws on the other end of the floor with 41 seconds left to play. Blyville, who was making a heck of a comeback, gave up on the comeback. Of course, they lost Humphrey to five fouls, so that didn't help. Free throw no good on the one and one. Fowler with the big offensive board. She traveled with it. Thirty-eight seconds left in the ball game. Nettleton will most assuredly win now with a 14-point lead. 30 seconds. Ballou just killed the clock. And we got a collision. Timeout called by Nettleton with 24 seconds left. Full timeout, and we might as well take it. You get big-time savings and hometown service.
Retirement? It's never looked so good. Welcome to Chateau on the Ridge Assisted Living in Paragould, Arkansas. Say hello to fine dining and down home living, where around the clock security and peace of mind are always at your fingertips. And front row seats to the best shows, they're included. We call it Chateau on the Ridge. You can call it home. Call or visit today to get the whole scoop. All right, so here's where we're at. 24 seconds left. Nettleton trying to close this one out. They've got a 14-point lead. They've got the basketball. They get it into Baloo. There's no reason. They can't come back that much in 20 seconds. There's no reason to foul her. 15 seconds. Hopefully, Lexi can take us to the buzzer. Peterson underneath, got it. And that will be the punctuation mark that ends the ball game. Final score, 64 to 48. Nettleton with the conference win here at Blyville tonight. Don't go anywhere, the boys will play next when we come back on your primetimesports.com. <laughs> 